Six, that's six feet. You got to get out, don't walk. Three, baby. Three, baby. There you go. Hello and welcome to Game On Profiles, where you get the chance to meet some of the outstanding student athletes from our Sarasota County District High Schools. I'm Maverick Johnson. The Venice High School girls tennis team has completed a very good season and they are district champs. Their number one singles player is a freshman, Gia Johnson. Gia did well playing number one singles and even did better playing doubles, going 12 and three in the regular season. The doubles team made it to the state tournament our student reporter and also Gia's doubles partner is Grace Klutke. She interviewed her teammate and their head coach about their winning season and Gia's future playing tennis for the Indians. So how did you get started playing tennis? My mom played tennis when she was older and so then when I was really young she started me in like little kid clinics and then I grew to really, really like the sport. What do you love about playing tennis Sorry, at Venice you. High School? I like the team, the feeling of like always having someone there for you, whether you win or you lose. It's fun. As a freshman, what's it like to come in and play number one singles? I think it's it was definitely a lot to expect for my first year. Um, but I don't know, it doesn't feel like you're playing number one if you have so many people there just playing with you. You just feel like a team. What do you think is the best part of your game and why? I think probably rallying cross court and it's just something that comes naturally. If, if like after playing the sport for a long time, you just get really used to it and it's just simple. How was going to States for the first time? It was interesting. It was a really different experience. Uh, it was fun seeing everybody play and it, seeing how it worked between right. high school tennis and other stuff. How hard do you work on your tennis game? I play tennis about every day a week for like three hours for practice. And then I play tournaments like individually on the weekends. So I'd say I work really hard at the sport. What helps you when you're in a tough match to find a way to win? I usually just try to relax and think about going back to the basics, moving your feet, um, just following through on your strokes, and just relaxing is the most part. What do you love most about playing for the Indians? Well, I think the team like aspect of it all is just really, really different for a sport where you're usually just the only one on the court. So it's it's really a lot different having a team there for you than just okay. being alone. Okay. Sounds good. Do you do that? Gia played number one singles and doubles as a freshman. And as her doubles partner, it was really fun to play with someone who goes for every ball. And I know she has a lot of promise here at Venice. Why don't you play it? Yeah, play out a couple points. Tell me about Gia. What makes her such a good player? Gia, I think, has a lot of fun on the court. and. Uh, her consistency is one of her strengths. Uh, she's just got a really good all-around game, whether it's a consistent serve, volleying, ground strokes. Um, she's just solid at all aspects of the game. How did Gia do playing in your number one single spot? You know, she did a good job. The number one spot is, is a tough spot because you know you're playing the best player from every team. Um, and I wasn't sure, her being young, how she'd handle it, but you know, she went out and gave it her best and won a lot of matches, took a few losses here and there, but she learned from them and just kept getting better. So um, I feel like she handled it really well for her age and I'm glad I'm gonna have her for a few more years to come. Oh, sorry. sorry. And Gia also played part of your number one doubles team. Um, are you proud of them going to States? Yeah, both Gia and her partner Grace did a fantastic job. Um, they wound up winning districts for number one doubles, had the opportunity to go to the state tournament, which is always a great experience to be with uh, great players from around the state of Florida. And uh, so I, I'm extremely proud of the two of them. 
They, they made a great team. Uh, Grace uh, brings a lot to the game as well with her volleys and serve. And so uh, it was a really good partnership this year. Her future seems pretty bright in this sport. What would you expect? Well, um, you know, tennis is tough. There's a lot of kids that play the sport, especially here in Florida. But uh, I, I, I know how hard Gia works at it. And I got to believe that if she just keeps up that good work ethic, playing the tournaments, um, that she's going to have some opportunities in the future to, to play at the next but level yeah, as well. Film and football, you're not getting... Thanks, Grace, for that story. Gia's dream is to earn a scholarship to play tennis in college, and she has three more years to work on that goal. We congratulate Gia Johnson on her great start in high school tennis and look forward to her exciting career. Also, her doubles partner and our student reporter, Grace Klutke, will be attending Washington University in St. Louis. I'm Maverick Johnson, and we thank you for watching Game On Profiles. You gotta get out, don't walk. Thank <laughs> you.